Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is time to react to Dr. Zucker Nike again today with a very interesting video. Why are the people taking so long to accept Islam? Of course, this is a question I'm getting asked on a daily basis. Bobby, why haven't you converted yet? So I believe Dr. Zucker Nike might have the answer for us. With no further ado, let's have a look. Uh, brother Zakir Nike. Assalamu alaikum. I am Namita, a kindergarten teacher by profession. First of all, let me congratulate you for all your commendable work in spreading the message of peace, love and brotherhood. I want to ask you, Brother Nayak, if Quran is the God's word, if Islam is truly the way of life, then why are people taking so long in realizing and accepting it? That's a good question. Sister, that's a very good question. <laughs> Quran is <laughs> no, the word course. of God, Islam is the true religion. Why are people taking so long in accepting it? Sister, the straight path is not always easy to follow. Your True. perception differs. The perception of each individual differs. For example, a person who may not be following Islam, oh, if I accept Islam, he may be an alcoholic. I'll have to stop having alcohol. I may have to stop going out with girls and dating. So then that will prevent him. Okay. So what he thinks, okay, fine, Islam may be good, but I don't want to stop my alcohol. I don't want to stop going out flirting with girls. I don't want to stop having pork. So when you learn, there okay. may be certain... Neither of those things are of any important to me personally. Uh, maybe a person may not be alcoholic. Maybe he may not be having pork. But he may think, okay, now I accept Islam. That means for 40 years I was a fool. Oh, I better not accept Islam. Some may think, if I accept what will my friend say? What will okay. my mother say? I could see what? the argument, yeah, for sure. Ultimately, we saw this with mixed martial arts when it emerged a lot of fighters that dedicated their life to karate, kung fu, taekwondo, boxing, wrestling, but especially prime kickboxers like Badr Hari, they never made the transition to mixed martial arts because they simply didn't want to learn a new thing and they never wanted to make the transition to MMA. They never wanted to accept MMA as the new truth and they wanted to defend their own sport till the end. What my father say? So all these obstacles, sister, only if you can overcome these obstacles, can you accept the truth. So therefore, what you have to realize that the message is clear. The message is logical. It's absolutely clear. But there are other things which are there in the baggage. Sure. A person has to be so strong that, fine, if this is the truth, I'm ready to accept the truth, even if I have to leave my other non-Muslim friends. And believe me, sister, this is only a perception. And many non-Muslims who have accepted Islam, and yet they've got their old friends. And people tell me, oh, Zakir, don't speak to non-Muslims. If I would convert to Islam, I wouldn't lose any friends. Muslim, you lose the friendship. I've got very good non-Muslim friends also. Mashallah, they respect me. Sure. You have appreciated me. Mashallah, you're a non-Muslim. So my job is to present the truth. And one more thing, Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 256, like Rafiddin, there's no compulsion religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Our job, sister, is to present the truth. Whether a person accepts it or not, it depends upon him. If Almighty mm. God wanted everyone to accept, it's very easy. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yunus, yeah. chapter number 10, verse exactly. number 99. If he wanted, he could have made all the human beings believers. Very easy. Kun kun, very easy. But where is the test? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah khalaqal mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. Mm -hmm. 
So this life is the test for the hereafter. Now, when a person sure. realizes the truth, everything yeah, if you wouldn't have any good and evil, where would be the test? Of course, if you wouldn't have different belief systems, different religions, different political ideologies, war and peace, where would be the test? There would be nothing. Everything would be easy peasy. It would be already paradise. Everything you realize the truth you don't follow. You may follow 80%, you may follow 50%. There are very few people who follow 100%. Sure. Even all the Muslims don't follow 100%. Some Muslim may have bad habits. Definitely not. Yet, they are Muslim. So what we have realized, sister, the major points of oneness of God and believing in the last and final messenger and believing in the hereafter, these two, three points are the most important, sister. And that the same thing I'll tell you, sister. You ask me the question, I'll ask you the same question. Then what is taking you so much time to accept the truth, sister? Dr. Zakir huh? I would just like to tell you something that here with your blessings I accept Islam and repeat the kalma La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulallah yeah, I sure already knew Allah. how to say it man Allah bless you. My Allah fake Allah. detector is tingling and welcome, your sister. She was already Muslim and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and grant you Jannah. Ameen. All right, that's interesting question. Not so impressive delivery. She already knew the Shahada. I cannot believe that she converted there. She spoke it already before. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to speak it in Arabic. She already practiced and by that she already said the Shahada at least in her own spare time. So this was most definitely fake. Nevertheless, the question itself was interesting. Of course, why do people need so much time? The answer to that was essentially worldly things. In a nutshell, this is what Zakhar Naik said. It is about worldly things. It's about friends, reputation, maybe it is about ego, what will other people think, etc, etc, you name it. For me personally, it's none of those things. Man, I am 35 years old now. I went through so many ideologies. I explored every religion, every spiritual practice, every diet on this planet to a point of absolute exhaustion. I dug so deep to understand truth. What I understood, however, was not so much about the external world. What I understood is myself. I realized how I tick. And this is the most valuable thing we have. This is why I do not have so many questions about Islam. I understand myself and I do know my nature. I've seen myself dedicated for years to a cause and then all of a sudden I dropped out. You see that with certain youths when they get into Islam and then they become radicalized and they even become ISIS fighters. I've seen it before but then they turn their back on it. Then they become liberals out of a sudden and condemn everything that they have done. We see it in all kinds of things. Some people become neo-Nazis and then a couple of years later they ditch the ideology. I myself went through so many different ideologies that I'm exhausted at this point. I can't enter a new ideology to just then ditch it a few years later. And this is why I'm doing my research. This is why I'm trying to understand for the very first time in my life. I'm actually doing the research first before making a decision. Back in the day, I would just jump right into it. I was extreme in every regard. If I find something, I dedicate myself to it 100% and then I ask questions later. And this is why now I'm asking the questions first. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.